Good morning guys, how are we all doing? So happy Monday everybody, welcome to the new trading week. So if you guys wouldn't mind smashing that like button, we will go straight over to the charts. Um, we'll just go to Bitcoin first. Um, yeah, Bitcoin on the 4 hour, you can see we are hanging on, hanging on to dear life. Hang on for dear life to this 10,800 level, to this um, this horizontal we've got in. Um, obviously, we're getting dragged down by stock market futures that have opened a bit lower and the dollar that is um, opened a little bit higher. Um, so, yeah, um, it, it, this, this is this is a short-term inflection point for, for Bitcoin. If we don't hold this level, um, then um, I believe we'll be coming down to test test this more important 10.6 level. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's not, it's not going to be looking good. Um, if we do this um, but again, like I said, we're getting led by stocks. We're getting led by the dollar um, And they are pretty much getting um, um, Well hit dollars not getting hit the dollars going up, but obviously they're the inverse inverse trades um, But yeah, so that's kind of what is going on here. We'll have a quick look at this so you can see stock markets um, If we go to a we go to an hour so we can just sort of see the, the action that's going on now And um, you can see we have lost this horizontal. It's pretty important level so um yeah i mean um the cash markets are open yet um so um we have still obviously got a chance for when they do open um to then us, us to pump up back up but um there may there may just be more selling on the open so we'll have to watch that um europe's down pretty um european stock markets are, are getting hit pretty hard this morning as well um so that's obviously what's dragging these futures down because these cash markets are actually open themselves um dollar index here you go you can see what is going on here this is an hourly so we'll go to a four hour just to um just to see and you can, as yeah you can see the um, the trend line the important trend line um is we are currently above it um on a four hour candle on a, on well currently above it on any candle basis because that's the price now um but um yeah we're above it at the moment and um, we could close above obviously for our candle in um in a, an hour or so um we've got this horizontal so basically if we lose this horizontal um and then and, and then even these um these two previous highs here um <laughs> well and then even this level i mean we've got clear trigger points where um basically people where buying will, will likely come in um so um yeah we've got to be a uh, got to be aware of that because that's basically gonna gonna end end everything it's gonna be game over when that happens um so it has been it has been threatening to pop up for a while now um so yeah i mean will that happen will we have another bad week in markets um will this dollar will this dollar break above these levels get get into the 94s um Maybe, maybe that is what we've got going on. But obviously, it is early days. It's very early days. Um, US isn't even open. <laughs> They're probably not even awake. Um, yeah. So this is just European, European, Asian market sessions um, that are driving these at the moment. Um, so yeah, we'll have to keep, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Gold and silver getting hit as well. Um, I mean, which is, which is just this. It's just the inverse correlation to that, that move up as well. You can see here um gold coming down a bit lost lost that uh, lost that level anyway that's not this is not necessarily imp that important a level for gold um it's more just independent as you can see um and silver um silver back to the low 26s um this is more of an important level for silver um as you can see you can see the confluence so yeah we've got to keep an eye on that i think i will draw the um the um the bottom side of this pennant in for um gold um Oh, roughly roughly that will do um yeah that'll do so we are getting close to that as well as you can clearly see um and then this is obviously the midpoint um pretty much but yeah we are getting close to that so um i mean there is going to be a big expansion of the range in gold um once it just break this formation and i mean once we're at the lower side of it it potentially could come to the downside and that could be a big move um and that is obviously going to coincide with a dollar move um so back over to bitcoin um yeah we just look like we're just um flirting with this again 10,800 um let's have a look at the stochastics which um on the short term i can imagine they're going to be looking amazing um yeah for our pretty deep here deep here and looking like it's still coming down 10 hour will be coming down pretty um, pretty precipitously so pretty sharply um 12 hour is now turning down and he's out of the um out of well almost all, all out of this critical zone so um this is the main one this is the one we look at guys this is basically the one that is gonna potentially drag these markets down um so um yeah we've got to got to keep an eye on this 
um we've got to keep an eye on this um daily um daily still looking okay daily is daily can daily still going to give us a bit of upward momentum so is two day uh, and three day is finally turning up now um so if that starts to get going to the upside then that is gonna that is gonna help us out and fa well five day and weekly has not fed through to five day and weekly yet but um it won't feed through to five day and weekly unless we um unless we do start to make um some some progress to the upside so um that's how we're kind of looking at on those on those um so yeah i mean as you can see though within this um daily um daily um daily chart you can see between this level it's not the um it won't be the worst thing for us to test 10,600 um you're just gonna have to hold your breath whilst we do <laughs> because we don't want to lose that level and we're gonna have to bounce off it um but it is a it is a logical level to bounce at um but again we are we're playing we're playing dicey games we're playing um we're playing um we're playing um, quite dangerous games if we if we start to do things like that. But again, like I said, ultimately all it comes down to is dollar and stock market. So, um, and that is basically what is going on right now. If the dollar was down and the stock markets were up, we would be above eleven thousand right now. And it is it's literally as simple as that. Um, so yeah, um, so that is it, guys. Remember, this is not a financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Always do your own research, and I will um, speak to you guys um, later later on today.